spiritualism role in deception June 7 many will be ensnared through the belief that spiritualism is a merely human imposter but when brought face to face with a manifestation which they cannot but regard as supernatural they will be deceived and will be led to accept them as the great power of God the Bible is quite clear in the book of first John chapter 4 and verse 1 this is what it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world let us consider for a moment the word try the word try in this context means to test or to examine or to scrutinize to see whether a thing is genuine or not ever so often I would go into the supermarket with my wife and as we go shopping we would pick up uh, the lettuce and my wife would examine that lettuce she would turn it around she would look at the root the bottom the top the sides and she would examine the lettuce to see if she could figure out whether or not it was organic or if it they use fertilizer now it is similar to that as the bible is referring to whenever a spirit comes or whenever a form of doctrine comes we ought to look at that spirit examine that spirit from top uh, to bottom how could we examine that spirit we have to test the spirit by the word of god so in other words we put the word of god on one side we look at what is being portrayed and once it does not line up with the word of god then we disregard it you may be wondering uh, sometimes in your life how you can effectively attest every spirit it's easy just use the word of god as a measuring rod and once we use the word of god as a measuring rod we would be able to determine whether the spirit is of god or of the devil why not trust his word today let us ask god for the ability to test every spirit and every doctrine and everything from his word for that's the power of his word let's pray father in heaven we are grateful that you would have given us your word by which we can test every spirit grant us the ability to search your word and to be familiar with your word so that we can be true in testing every spirit bless us now we ask in jesus name amen remember my dear friends the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay Get it right.